Hello, welcome to Yoga Vinyasa Flow. Today we're going to focus primarily on hip openers. So um, a few things to keep in mind. Um, if you have a back issue, hip issue, you know, all those kinds of things, be mindful when you're going into the hip opener, careful not to go too deep. Any funny business always back off. Um, then, and I will give you an option for uh, pigeon if belly down pigeon is not for you when we get there. And we will be using a strap today. You can also use a belt, stretchy band, they'll all accomplish the same pur purpose. We are going to actually start with this here in a moment. So I'm just going to put this down here. And then you'll see I've got four blocks. You really only maybe need two. This is just for when I switch sides, I don't have to take the blocks with me. Um, but that's what those are for. Okay. So let's get started. Let's start on our back. On our back. And you want to have that strap handy because we're going to start with that. Now, something that I have grown fond of, and I know a block is back here, so we that one, is putting a block right under my head as um, I, we, I get to do this series here. So um, that's an option. Some people like it, some people don't. Some people prefer a fold of that blanket instead of the block um, or a pillow there. I'm completely fine. Just kind of have that where it's nice and relatively comfortable if you're using it. And then I'm going to take my feet as wide as my mat here. I'm going to zip up from pubic bone to behind the navel, belly button is in, and I'm just going to get some gentle windshield wipers. So belly button is always in when you're doing this work. You want to protect the SI joints, that's where the hip joints, the ilium connects to the sacrum. So the hip and the spine kind of come together there if you want to look at it that way. And they're a goofy little joint. They don't move a lot. We used to think they didn't move at all. And now we know there's just enough movement to cause a problem if we're not careful. Good. So I'm just going to bring those feet back in here. Let's take the arms up overhead. Reach, reach, reach. I shouldn't say overhead. I should be over shoulders or over chest. Turning palms away. Good. And pressing and resisting that air when you come back down. Turning palms back up. Let's take that back up. Good. And now from here, my hands are together. I'm going to bring those hands down in heart center. And create an intention for your practice. What would you like to give or receive from this? I'm not giving you any special intentions today. Intentions are your own today. You can also dedicate this practice to someone or something. Yourself is always okay. And once you have that said, we'll take that back up. Good. I'm going to take my palms and they can fake. My palms are facing my feet. Good. I'm just going to take my arms back a little bit. Now, whether your head is on the block or not, you only want to come so far back as towards the rib cage can still be grounded here. So if you start to feel a lift, then that's where you stop. And then we're just going to reach that forward. And coming back, my belly button is still in and reaching forward. And coming back and reaching forward. Now turning palms back again. Good. Let's just open and close. Open and close open and close. Good. From here, grab your strap or whatever you're using for your strap. I'm going to take the right foot in here. Good. <clears throat> so I'm holding both pieces of my strap and we're going to do a dynamic um, stretch here. So I'm just going to let that leg come forward, come back, a gentle tug, and forward, come back, gentle tug, forward, Come back, good. You can choke up a little bit here, a little bit of a deeper stretch. Always keep a micro bend in that knee. And I'm gonna point and flex the foot here. So what we're doing here is we're loosening up the back a little bit by also getting into the hamstrings, the glutes, and the quads. Because when they're tight, the low back is tight and causes pain. Now from here, both straps are gonna come into the right hand. Good, your left leg can come a little bit longer if you had it bent. We're gonna lubricate this joint, prepare for that deeper work. So 
So we're just gonna come into some circles here. Our belly button is still in. You want the hips to stay grounded. Also a sneaky way to warm up the core. Core has to stabilize you here to keep you from flopping around. Good. Good, and let's reverse. Good. And then from here, when you're ready, good. I'm going to take both straps into the left hand. I'm going to take my left leg long. Good. And I'm just going to arc over 45 ish degrees. So you can wiggle around here if you need to to find a sweeter spot. We just want to get on this outside. So we're not going over into the twist, we're just staying at the 45 degrees. Breathing. And when you're ready, then we'll come back up. We're gonna do a midair switcheroo here. So now I've got that strap around the left foot. Good. So I come down a little bit here, dynamic stretch, taking it forward, come back, gentle tug. Good. Always keeping a little micro bend in the knee. And like anything, pain, numbness, tingling, burning, not normal. So if you feel those sensations, back off until you don't. You can choke back up here as the hold. You can point and flex the foot. Good. My belly button is staying in here. Good. And make a memory as to how these feels. We're gonna come back to this towards the end. I'm gonna ask you that question. If it feels better, worse, it's the same. If there's no wrong answer, good. Now. Coming into a lower grip, here's the circle. So belly button is in. Good. The bigger circles are a little bit more core intensive. It requires more control. Smaller circles will do the same job, a little bit less core intensive, but not necessarily less challenging. They both feel different. Let's reverse directions. And then when you're ready, it will come up. I'm gonna lengthen my right leg. Both straps coming into the right hand. Get, get that 45-ish degree arc over. And you might have to wiggle around. Not everybody is directly across. Belly button is still in. We've still got that breath. And we'll come back up. Good. So we can remove the strap right now. We'll come back to it towards the end. Take both knees into the chest. I'm going to grab behind the knee here, pulling in, finding a little bit of length. And I'm going to roll my ankles in one direction. And then the other. Good. If you've got a block, a pillow, a folded blanket or something underneath that head, good. Move that out of the way. Good. And then when you're ready, good. Some of you are gonna transition by rolling over to your side, coming up to a seat and coming to all fours there. Others are going to cross the ankles, grabbing where you can grab and rolling like a ball coming into all fours. So if you're rolling like a ball, try to do about four or five. Try not to roll in the neck. And coming up and coming forward. Good. So always take care to cushion the knees as needed. You can do the same thing with the wrist. I'm gonna spread my fingers nice and wide, rooting through the knuckles of pinky corner and thumb. Knees are under the hips, they can be slightly wider. If you've got a cranky back right now, belly button is in. Just three basic cat cows. So I'm gonna push away, inhale, chest forward, pelvis tilts back, so that's your cow. Exhale and round into cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Good. Now, coming into a um, downward facing dog, if you're taller, half a hand's width or full hand's width forward. If you're shorter like me, you can stay where you are. I'm going to tuck my toes. And as I shift my hips back, 
I'm gonna press in and forward into the mat and I'm still rooting through the knuckles of pinky corner and thumb. I'm gonna lift the knees and keep shifting the hips back. Good. And then I'm just gonna check in with my form. So my hips, knees and toes are in relative alignment. I'm pressing evenly into big toe and pinky toe mounds. I'm still pressing in and forward into my mat. I'm protracting my shoulders. So I'm pressing away from the floor. Good. Ears are by the biceps. Elbows are turning more towards the ceiling. Good. Now from here, when you're ready, you can stay in stillness. You can bend the knees. You can lengthen. You can walk the dog. You can come high on the toes and drop the heel. Find what feels good to your body in this moment. Belly button is in. Good. And then from here, when you're ready, from your down dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees and pause. We're going to walk the hands back towards the feet. Get into all four corners of the feet. Let the knees bend. Just let the arms and head, neck do what they do. Shake the head, yes. Shake the head, no. Good. Now, could you press from hip to heel, lengthening the legs a little bit, but finding a flat back? So fingers might be to the floor. You might be at the shins or the thighs. Come where you need to come. And then we're going to bend those knees and come back down. Inhale, exhale, lift and lengthen. Bending the knees and coming back down. Inhale, exhale, lift and lengthen. And bending those knees, good. Walk that back forward. Find your down dog. Good. Take a big breath from your down dog. Inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk or step this first one forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Floor, block, pins or thighs, long spine. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root through the feet, engage the glutes. Long legs or bend in the knees. Long back, though, as you come all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good. Finding your breath, your mouth and your intention. Knees are a little soft. Here we go. Three sun salutations. Big inhale and we reach. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, plant the hands. Step or hop back to plank. You choose. Take or skip a flow. Try not to collapse if you're flowing. If you're collapsing in your flow, put your knees down. Get stronger before you try to flow. Halfway down is all you need. Protect your shoulders. From downward facing dog, when you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk, step or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root engage and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. And number two, inhale and we'll lift. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. Inhale, plant the hands. Step or hop back to plank. You choose, take or skip a flow. I'm going to personally skip this one. So flowing is always optional. They're in my classes in case, you know, people like them or want them, but they're not required. Good. From down dog when you're ready, inhale, look forward, bend the knees. Walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root through the feet, engage the glutes. Long spine as you lift. Make the legs take the load. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time. Inhale and we'll lift. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. Inhale, plant the hands. Step or hop back to plank. You choose. Take or skip a flow. And from that down dog, when you're ready, good. let's go ahead and get a nice walk to the dog. Good. So we're going to get into the core um, just a little bit here. So what I want you to do is step your feet back a little bit. We're going to come into a plank and you can have a knee down plank or a knee lifted plank. Push that floor away. Find your um, length here. Good. Now I'm just going to bend one knee and then the other. 
If your knees are down, you're just lengthening that leg. Notice what fires up here in the back and the belly when we do this work. Good. Now, take it back, downward facing dog. From your downward facing dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, with thinly thin halfway. Exhale, little bow. Inhale, root through the feet, engage the glutes, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Finding your breath, your mountain, your intention. Good. Let's go to a new pattern now. We'll use the blocks for this um, new pattern here. You can have your blocks here, here, or here. You've got really long arms. You may not need them, but the blocks are nice. They keep you from collapsing um, and be able to hold that lunge a little bit higher and longer. So from here, when you're ready, big inhale and we'll reach. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. Inhale, plant the hands. Step or hop back to plank. You choose, take or skip your flow. And then once you've made it to your down dog, your left leg's gonna lift three points. You're gonna bend that knee. Good, my gaze is at my right foot. I'm gonna press through that right leg as I open to the left, trying to keep left shoulder grounded and coming down. I'm pressing an opening and coming down, press and open, and come down, inhale, exhale, round the spine as you step or pick up and put the left foot forward between the hands. Good, now this is where you're gonna bring in your blocks here. Your front heel is grounded, your knee is gonna be over behind the ankle. Some of you might have to take this leg a little bit further back, that's okay. Left hip is gonna come back. I'm lengthening the torso, I'm pressing. I'm pressing through the back heel. My back heel is not grounded. And I'm pressing evenly into that big toe and pinky toe mound in that right foot. So I, don't, I wanna try to avoid this droopy knee here for right now. I wanna really get in there. We're working right here. Good. Now, from here, if you can, we're gonna do a little dip and a lift, a dip, and a lift. Yes, you feel it a little bit deeper here when you do a dip and a lift. Option, you can take that knee all the way down and come up here if that's where you need to be today. Or for more challenge, a little bit more balance and power, good, you're gonna lift and you're gonna come up into your high crescent. Good. Front hip will come back. Strong through that back leg. Zip up that front body. You can stay here. You can open into a little back bend. What blessings could you open your heart to today? Good. And we'll come up. I'm going to lengthen as I take this down. Good. I'm going to plant, take my blocks forward, plant my hands. My front foot's going to step back. Good. From here, you choose. Take or skip a flow. Okay. Now, once you've done this, come back to the left leg lifting, bending that knee and opening back up to the left. Good. Left shoulder is still grounded. So you're going to decide, am I going to stay right here? Or am I going to flip over into the wild thing, which looks like this? Okay, now if you're like, well, I wanna do that, but I'm afraid to do the flip over, lower down the right knee. Good, roll to the right side, take yourself up and then you're there. The less scary way to get there. And then from here, based on where you went and based on your body's need, find your downward facing dog. Good. From that downward facing dog, I'm gonna take the right leg up. I'm gonna bend that knee. I'm gonna open to the right. Good, so I'm looking at that left foot. Now I'm pressing through that left leg and then I'm gonna close. I'm opening to the right and close. Good, 
opening to the right and close. Good, we're back to center. Round that spine as you step or pick up and put the right foot forward between the hands. Bringing blocks in. Heel is grounded. Knee is over behind the ankle. You can reach that left leg back a little bit more if you need to. Press back through that heel. Press evenly into the left, the big toe, pinky toe mount. Right hip's gonna come back, find length in the torso. So we're getting into these places, the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads. A little bit later, we'll get into the QLs, helping out our back. Then opening up the hips. Good. So then from here, when you're ready, here goes that little dip. So left knee is gonna come down. Maybe you tap it, maybe you don't. And we're gonna lift. And we'll come down and lift and down and lift. And then you decide, are you gonna come down and stay down? Or are you going to lift up, find your balance, take your time to get there. Good. Front hip is still back. I'm still pressing back to that back heel. Zipping up that front body. Maybe opening up again. Staying with the breath, come back to your intention. And we'll come up, good, I'm gonna lengthen. And I'm gonna move my blocks forward. I'm gonna plant the hands. My front foot's gonna come back. You too, take or skip a flow. Good. Now, with that right leg, we're gonna lift, we're gonna bend. I'm looking at that left foot, I'm gonna open. Good, and close, and open. And then you choose from here, are you gonna hang out here? Are you gonna do the flip over into the wild thing on the side or follow me? I'm just, because I'm afraid of that wall over there. Good, I'm gonna lower the left knee down, roll over to the left and coming up, finding it here. And then whenever you're ready, based on where you went, based on how you need to come out, Good, find your downward facing dog. Good, now one more little core exercise here. Go ahead and come onto your knees. So the last co little core exercise we did from a high point, we're gonna do that again from a forearm point. So I'm gonna come down, come on my forearms. Shoulders can be over or behind the elbows, slightly behind the elbows that is. Good, you can have your knees down here. They'll be a little bit further back or take your legs long. Good, now I'm really pressing away. I'm nice and protracted. Good, now bend one knee and then the other. Maybe we tap it. I think it's harder than being up high, but I know people who think it's harder being up high and easier being down here. Okay, that is okay. Good, and then when you're ready, good. You can drop the knees, find a quick pelve pose here for yourself. Knees can be together as wide as the matter somewhere in between. And whenever you're ready, in the way that's best for you, find your downward facing dog. From that beautiful downward facing dog, inhale, look forward, bend the knees, walk, step, or hop your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale when we bow. Inhale, root and gate and rise. Exhale, hands to heart center. Finding your breath your mountain, your intention. All right, let's go into a new pattern. Let's go into our warrior series here. So from here, when we're ready, big inhale and we'll reach. Exhale and we'll fold. Inhale, lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale and we'll bow. Inhale, step or hop back into your plank pose. You choose, take or skip your flow. Always returning to breath, returning to that intention. Left leg's gonna lift three points. We're gonna bend that knee. Good, we're gonna round. We're gonna step or pick up and put the left foot forward between the hands. I know I'm gonna use a block today on the side for triangle and extended side angle. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the outside of that left foot. Good, 
Now from here, I'm gonna warrior prep the right foot. So my hip, knee, and toe are gonna turn out about 45-ish degrees. When I'm strong, I'm gonna rise. Good. So from here, if this is not the alignment that's gonna work for you, fix it. This is the alignment that I need. Good, hip, knee, and toe are gonna tuck forward here. My front hip's gonna come back. I'm gonna open my chest without opening the hips. Hips are at 45-ish degrees. I'm gonna look over that front middle finger. Good. And pressing to the back edge of the back foot. But they bent front knee or a lengthened front leg. Take that back, find your exalted. We're still zipping up here. Inhale, exhale, finding that warrior two. Good, we're gonna find the extended side angle here. So I'm really gonna press back here. I'm gonna lengthen as you lengthen, try not to change the angle of that front knee. Good, and when you can come no more, you can take a forearm to the side, hand to the floor to a block, block for three height, find what you need. And maybe not even that high today. Okay, I'm going to come over here. Good. And then I'm going to open. If your hand is down on a block or to the floor, could you press your arm and leg into each other? Could you open up a little bit more to the right? Maybe you want to take that arm up overhead. The reaching. Okay. Arm's going to come back up. Look down at that front foot. Lengthen that front leg. Take it back. Exalted variation once more. Good. And when you're ready, hit. setting yourself up for triangle. So I need a little bit of a different alignment on the side today for my triangle. So I'm just going to bring this foot back in. But you can still have heel to heel, heel to arch. Good. Shorter or wider stance. Front hip is going to come back. I'm zipping up. Good. Lengthen. Lengthen, lengthen. I'm rooting my feet and legs into this mat like I'm trying to rip it apart. When I can come no more, I can come to a thigh, a shin, a block or the floor. I don't think I need it today. Outside is easier, inside's a little bit more harder. Good, and we'll open up, stacking of the shoulders. Really opening up towards the right, looking up towards that hand. Looking down at that front foot, putting a bend in that front knee, we're going to come around and frame that front foot. I'm going to swivel up the back foot. Now from here, I'm going to use both of my blocks, but you don't necessarily have to. Some of you are going to come up into that grounded warrior three and stay there. Others are going to follow me into a standing split. So this front knee is going to be bent as we come forward, hands to blocks or to the floor. Good. Even those hips, hip, knees, and toes still face the floor here. Hip, knee, and toe here face forward. Try to press out of the hip by coming into the heel. This might be it for some of you. Others are going to keep going. Good. If you're a little bit stronger, good. Maybe take a hand around here. Try not to open the leg out to the side. And then when you're ready, good. We're gonna come in, we're gonna reach. Good, finding that up runner. Good, and then once you're ready, front foot's gonna step back. You choose, take or skip a flow. Good, so standing split, still think of it as a split like you were doing on the floor. So if you're doing a split on the floor, your front leg, the hip, knees, and toes are facing towards the ceiling. The back leg, hip, knees, and toes are facing towards the ground. So you want to kind of envision that same alignment when you're trying to do standing split pose. Okay. And then from here, when you're ready, left leg's going to lift three points, bending that knee, rounding. So we're going to come to a pigeon here. I'm going to take that left knee down right behind the left. I'm going to really reach my right leg back. If you've got a big space underneath that left hip, fill that in with something. If this is too deep for you, and some of it, it might be, especially if you've got a back or a hip issue, come onto your back, do your figure four, the same hip opener, it's kinder on the joint, a little bit easier on the back, protect yourself, okay? If you already have an injury, you don't wanna make it worse. 
if you don't have an injury, but you think you might have something going on, we don't want to aggravate it or start something. So find it where you need it, belly down or on your back. Breathe and expand. Return to your intention. And then when you're ready, if you were on your back, you're going to make your way back to your downward facing dog. Those of you that went belly down, we're going to come up, tuck the back toe, lift, and finding a downward facing dog. We're gonna take that all to the other side. So I'm just gonna turn around here, okay, reset my blocks. From the downward facing dog, your right leg is gonna lift three points, bending that knee. Good, we're gonna round, step or pick up and put that foot forward between the hands. Good, warrior prepping. Good. When you're stable, good, we're gonna rise, hip knee and toe track forward, front hip comes back. Opening up the chest. Good, and breathe. With a bent front knee or a lengthened front leg, take that back into exalted. Opening up the side body. And when you're ready, Coming back, warrior two. Good. Finding extended side angle. So I'm really going to press. I'm lengthening. I'm trying not to change that angle at the knee as I come forward. This is core work. Pressing um, into the heels. You can come to the thigh. You can bring a block in here on the outside or inside. Good. Go to where you need it. Open up. If your hand is down to the floor to a block, press arm and leg into each other. Really open to that right or to the left. Open to the left. Maybe taking arm up overhead. Reach. And when you're ready, coming up, looking down at that front foot, lengthening, coming back, coming back down. When you're ready, good. Preparing for triangle on the side. So if you need a shorter stance, a longer stance, a little bit of a different alignment, but I'm pretty good for this side today. Good. So front hip is gonna come back, back hip is gonna come forward. I'm rooting in my feet and legs. I'm gonna lengthen, my belly button is in. I'm not letting that go. I'm lengthening, I'm lengthening, I'm lengthening. When I can come no more, take a thigh, take a shin, take a block, take the floor. Good, inside or outside, find your triangle. Good, open up to the side, look up at that hand. And then when you're ready, looking down at that front foot, putting a bend in that front knee. Good, we're gonna come and frame. So I'm gonna bring in my block here and swiveling up the back foot. So this is where we're gonna go into that grounded warrior three or standing split pose. So hands are blocked forward. Good, coming up. Hip knee and toe here are tracking forward. Try to press into the heel to lift out of the hip if you're hanging there. Good. So hip knee and toe here are still pressing, pressing down. Good. So this is your warrior three, your ground of warrior three. You're going to move on with me. Good. Keep going here. Maybe one hand can come behind. Good. Coming back to warrior three, if you took standing split, reach that left leg back, find your up runner. Planting the hands, front foot steps back, take or skip a flow. Good. And then from this downward facing dog, we're gonna find that pigeon. So again, if you need to go onto your back, go ahead and do that, you know how to do it now. Otherwise, right leg's gonna lift. Bending that knee, good. We're gonna take that right knee behind the right wrist. 
I'm gonna really reach that left leg back. Good. And then you decide, are you gonna be up? Do you need to fill in any space? Are you gonna come down? Find where you need to come. You may not look like me, and that is okay. This one took me a few years to be able to do. Be patient with yourself. It's also not something that I can do every day. I have many days where I have to be on my back. Whenever you're ready, good. If you're on your back, make your way back to a downward facing dog. If you went belly down with that, carefully lift up, find your downward facing dog. Good. And then just to close this out, take your right leg up, bend that knee. Good. We're gonna open and close and open. And I can't remember if we did a wild thing at this point on the other side or not. So if we did, you can take it. I feel like taking one, so I'm gonna flip over and take one. Okay. And then when you're ready, based on where you went, find your down dog. And from that down dog, drop those knees, find a nice child's pose. Good. So arms can come forward here. They can come back by the ankles like this. Find what you need. And if you think it would feel good to you, maybe grabbing the edges of the corners of your mat, pushing forward and pulling out the side a little bit. That may not be good for everyone, but if it would feel good to you, you can go there. Good. And then we'll release that grip. Good. We're going to come up a little bit here. Good. I'm going to walk my hands over towards my left. Walking right fingertips forward, lifting the hips slightly, pressing into the left hand, sinking towards the right. Breathe and expand. And then coming up, half or full, child pose through center. And when you're ready, other side, walking the hands over to the right, walking left fingertips up, lifting the hips, pressing into the right hand, sinking hips towards the left. Breathe and expand. And when you're ready, we'll come up to a seat. Good. From here, let's go ahead and come belly down. So we're gonna come into a quad stretch here. Good. And different things for different people. So stop where your body needs you to stop. So I'm gonna start by just bending my left knee, and for some of you that might be enough. Others are gonna reach back, maybe grabbing pant, foot, ankle. For others, that might be enough. If you're okay with going with more, reach from the hip to the knee. That's gonna lengthen that a little bit. Most people will stay here. Those of you that you know you've got more depth, the belly button is in, squeeze that left glute, lift that left foot straight up towards the ceiling. Do you want to try to squeeze the glute and take the foot straight up towards the ceiling versus that older cue of pressing hand and foot into each other? It's a little bit kinder on the low back. Pressing hand and foot into each other with all your might kind of puts a little bit more pressure back here. Good. And then we'll release. Good. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. We'll go to the other side. So then from here when you're ready, good. Maybe you just bend the right knee and stay there. Maybe you reach around and grab it. Maybe you stay there. Maybe you reach from the hip to the knee and stay there. Or maybe you squeeze that right glute, lifting that right foot straight up to the ceiling. Finding it there. And we'll release. Good, and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Good, from here when you're ready, hands under the shoulders. Breath back, you can child's pose there, countering that. You do go into a little bit of extension with that. Good, and then we'll come to a seat. Good. So you can, you're gonna come into Baddha Konasana, cobbler's pose. So I'm gonna take the soles of my feet together here. 
I want to be careful that my heels are not too close into the groin. Good. Now I'm pretty open in my hips today. You know that because my knees are almost to the floor. But if you're someone whose knees are up here, highly, highly recommend that you take care of yourself. Um, I recommend putting your blocks like this and resting just because it's a smoother edge versus trying to do this and it's not real comfortable. It kind of pokes you in the side. Pillows, folded blankets will do the same thing. Now I'm just gonna demo this today. So I'm gonna actually do this with you. Good. So remember, I've got these at an angle and I can support it. I'm gonna come nice and tall. Big inhale, exhale. I'm just gonna come forward with a long spine. My gaze is gonna be right off the tip of my toes. I'm relaxing my shoulders. Now if you're not using blocks and you're not too tight, you can always kind of press the elbows into your thighs just a little bit there. Good. And when you're ready, we'll come back up. Good. We'll remove these blocks. Yep. Let's take the legs out to the side here. Good. And I'm just going to shift. To where I've got an anterior tilt of the pelvis. So my tailbone tipped back, my hip bones tip tilted front. Hips, knees, and toes are tracking here. Always support under the knees if you need that. Inhale and lift. Exhale, long spine, come forward. When you can come no more, take those hands down. If toes, knees, and hips turned inward when you did that, turn them back towards the ceiling. Three. And when you're ready, good. we'll come back up here. Good. Now, it's considered advanced asana to have both legs out. It's a little bit more gentler if you want to follow me, taking the right foot in. Notice how I said advanced asana, not advanced yogi. Advanced yoga is honoring where you are in the moment. Advanced asana, the poses, is doing the different things. So honor where you are. And from here, when you're ready, we're gonna just take a side bend towards the left. So this is us getting into the QL, reaching. Quadratus laborum is what that stands for. Often a source of back pain when they're really tight. And when you're ready, we'll come back up. Good, if you're following me, we'll switch off the feet. Otherwise, you can leave both legs long. Big inhale and reach, exhale, get that side bend over, reaching, breathing, belly button is still in. And then when you're ready, we'll come all the way back up. Good, we're gonna come onto our backs now. Go ahead and grab your strap. We're gonna come back to that. And before we use the strap, let's come into one bridge. Now, there's different bridges. I'm going to offer you freestyle bridge today, meaning any bridge of your choice that's already in your practice, back bend, ankle bind, hand bind, you know, supported bridge. I'm going to do a basic bridge. So um, if you want to follow me, you can do that. Hips, knees, and toes are tracking, parallel, hip width apart. I'm rolling my shoulders back. I'm going to press shoulders and arms into the floor as I press into the feet and lift up. So I have a better bridge here because I'm engaging my upper body in this versus relying solely on the lower. Belly button is in. So this is also upper body strengthening when you engage it in your bridge. And then based on the bridge that you chose, carefully come out of there. Good, grabbing the strap. Our right foot's going to go back into that strap. Good. So from here, good. A strap in each hand. We'll take that back. Good. Keeping a little micro bend in that knee. Remember again, no pain, numbness, tingling, burning. If you want to think of things on a pain scale, that zero to 10 pain scale, 10 being the worst pain ever, zero being no pain at all. Don't go past a five or a six. And when you're ready, we'll release. 
From here, both straps into the right hand. Take that right leg out to the right. Both hips stay grounded. You can wiggle around here to find your sweeter spot. And then coming back up. Good. So now, hips, knees, and toes of this right foot are going to turn out into an external rotation. You can use the strap here. We're going to come into a half happy baby, which is going to be this, or half happy adult. Try not to let go of your strap. I know some of you don't need the strap here, but we're not done with the strap. So you don't want to have to take the time to, to reset that. When you're ready, good. We'll take that leg back up. We'll take it back in parallel. Your other leg's gonna come long, both straps into the left hand. You can find that 45 degree arc over here. Again, coming back to how it felt in the beginning of class. And this might be where you stay. You can move the foot around, finding the sweeter stretch. Some of you are gonna take this all the way over. I'm a little too close to the wall here. And do a full spinal twist. Like you're doing this, Try to keep the leg in line with the hips. Try not to let it flop on the floor. Put a prop under there to help you if you need it. You can look in opposite directions. Breathing. Turn that nice opening all through here. And then when you're ready, good. We're gonna come back up. And then when you're ready, then we'll just do a mid air switch loop. I've got my left foot in there. I'm holding both sides of the strap. Then I'm going to come back, find my hamstring stretch, breathe and expand. And when you're ready, good, we'll release. Good, both straps into the left hand, both hips are grounded. Take that left leg out to the left. We'll go around, find your sweet spot. And while we're here, reconnect with that intention and breath again. Remember your intention was your own. We'll come back up, good. Hip, knee and toe. Always moving from the hip, we're going to turn out away from the body. You can find your half happy baby or half happy adult. And then we'll come back up. Get hip knee into her back parallel. Extend this leg. Good. Switching hands. Good, you find the 45-ish degree arc over. You can stay here, you can move that foot around, or you can come in to that full spinal twist, keeping leg in line with the hip, putting the prop under there if you need it, maybe looking in opposite direction. And then when you're ready, we'll come back up. Good. Remove that foot from the strap. Good. Bring your knees into the chest, arms underneath the knees. Find a nice little lengthening stretch here. And when you're ready, we're going to go into Shavasana. So you can bring in any prop that you have that you want. You can let everything go long and flop open. You can put a bend in the knees. You can be on your side. You can be on your belly. Be where you're comfortable. I think I'm going to... I'm pretty open now. I'm going to just come right here. Thinking into the face, returning to intention.
And then taking some deep breaths here. Choose stillness or gently take head and neck from side to side. Choose stillness or invite movement of fingers and toes. Choosing stillness or taking your knees into your chest, choosing to keep the upper body grounded or maybe lifting the chest for a full body hug. And choosing stillness or taking legs long in front of you, arms long behind you and reach and lengthen, finding that nice full body stretch point and flex the feet, bend and stretch the hands, trolling wrists and ankles in one direction and then in the other. And then whenever you're ready, bending in both knees and you choose rolling over to your right or left side, the side that works best for your body in this moment, taking all the time that you need here. And when you're ready, pressing yourself up to a comfortable seat, whatever that looks like for you. Hopefully it's a little bit easier now that we're a little bit more open. Palms turning up, inhale, reach, 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 looking up there. Exhale, hands and heart center. Reconnecting to that intention you made for yourself one more time. And taking the thumbs to the forehead for good and true thoughts, to the lips for good and kind words, and to the heart for open and loving heart. Knowing no effort on this mat is ever wasted, no gain is ever reversed. May you be safe, may you stay well, may you have a wonderful day, evening, week, month, season ahead. Thank you so much. Namaste.